up guys? Dylan here with Off-Leash K9 Training. I've got my friend Dexter here with me. He's a one and a half year old Doberman. He's just enrolled into the two week board to train program. So even though Dexter has a, uh, a limp front paw, he is a very, very vicious and accomplished leash puller. Uh, more or less has zero idea of what he's supposed to be doing with the leashes on. His owner, there's a bit of a weight discrepancy. She's pretty small and he's a pretty big boy. He picks a direction, he decides, I smell something interesting, I want, I want to go. He goes and she's going for a ride. And she's been taken to the ground quite a few times by him, which sounds funny, but is actually pretty dangerous. Um, and having his slight disability as well, his owner thinks that he'll be a bit more injury prone, which I agree with. So for his safety and for her safety, we need to get him walking on a loose leash like a gentleman, make sure that no funny business happens, no slips and falls, no lunging, none of that. Um, another huge concern for him is recall. When the leash comes off of him, or even if he's on the end of a long leash, he has absolutely zero idea when any of his, his humans or anyone's trying to get into, in touch with him. He sticks his nose up into the air or sticks his nose right to the ground, and he's just in outer space. There's no reaching him other than physically grabbing him or using a food lure to try to get him back. But uh, they've more or less created a food extortionist out of him. He's going out potty. They want him to come back inside. They've got to have payment sitting there waiting for him. If not, he'll come back on his own time if you're lucky. Uh, so those are two huge concerns. Another, I would say the third biggest concern as well is that he's a bit of a roughhouser, but not in a uh, classic kind of like goofy way. He has a tendency to grab at sleeves, grab at hands, or even bite at, uh, at legs to try to activate people into playing. So this happens mainly outdoors. I know that if they're trying to do yard work, if they're you know walking around, if they're, I don't know, they could be watering plants. If he's bored and he needs human, it feels like he needs human attention, he'll go and take it by biting. He, he has drawn blood before. So it's not true aggression, but it's certainly unacceptable for a dog of his size to be doing something like that. So we need to teach him to play like a gentleman as well. So those are just three of the things we're gonna work on. We're gonna cover all of the basic obedience. We're gonna cover all of the exposure training. He gets a little fired up around other dogs because uh, they take him to dog daycare. So now strangers' dogs have a lot of value to him. So we need to try to get more neutral, be a little, a little bit more level-headed. Gets excited around kids and adults as well. And that can cause some barking, leaf pulling, all that stuff. So we've got quite a bit to work on. We'll do a quick rundown right now to see where we're starting with just the basic obedience. Hey, Dexter. Dexter. Hey, Dex. Dexter, come. Dexter, come. Dexter. Dex. You sit. Boy, good job, Dex. Dex, sit. Jump. Jump. We got some work to do. We're gonna get after and have some fun. Stay tuned to see his progress. 